At Healthcare Partners Medical Group, our mission is to provide the highest quality of healthcare to each and every patient. With five locations in Pahrump, we are local doctors you know and trust. We want to thank you for choosing us. Quality care starts here. This portion of the news is brought to you by Affiliated Chiropractic and Affiliated Physical Therapy. Come in for your free consultation. Call 775-727-8900. Our goal is to create the individual treatment plan that will restore your health and end pain. Welcome back to News 46. Today, Terry brings you Buster in this week's West Star Ranch Save a Pet segment. Save a Pet is generously brought to you by Auto World at 727-8000 and Greenspan Brokerage at 751-6200. Put the green team to work for you. Hi, welcome to West Star Ranch. We're here with Buster today. Buster is a two-year-old male neutered pit bull mix and he's looking for his forever home. There's one unique thing about Buster is he doesn't bark. So if you're looking for a dog that doesn't bark and have room in your life for him, please come visit him at 780 Mance Road, just west of Prompt Valley Boulevard, or give us a call at 727-9273. If you would like to sponsor Save a Pet, give us a call at 727-9400. To adopt, donate, or contact West Star Ranch, call 727-9273. A special lecture series will be held at Desert View Hospital at the Pahrump Senior Center. Well, we want to help the community be educated about their health and various topics. Not everybody can always get in to see a doctor when they have a question. So our goal is at the hospital to be able to host a monthly class, either at the hospital or at the senior center, where we can help uh, people be informed about various ongoing health topics. They'll be speaking on things like nutrition, weight loss, general women's health, menopause, those sorts mm -hmm. of things. And this is an important topic for people to find out about, uh, women, to find out about. But you tend to not ask these questions when you go to your doctor. You just tend to have this one complaint. This might actually spur some questions mm -hmm. to be asked and women to find out more things maybe they didn't even think about. I actually advise men and women both to write down questions before they go to their doctor because they do once you're there you're under the pressure mm -hmm. of you know talking to the doctor and of course he he or she wants to get out of there and get to the next patient it, it's just the way that works um, and that you don't get to ask the question or you don't remember the question so and so it sh you should always write them down whatever this is a good way of asking the question in a more relaxed setting mm -hmm. to people who might be able to answer it or at least find out the answer. Tell me about the ones happening at the Senior Center too as well. We're reproducing the, the series at the Senior Center. Mm -hmm. We're doing it on alternating months. Mm -hmm. So uh, this one is in March. Mm -hmm. So the one at the Senior Center is on April 12th mm -hmm. from 9.30 to 10.30. So that one, of course, uh, everybody's invited to that one too as well. But uh, you're doing this for the convenience of the seniors too, or people who can't make it to the, to the one at Desert View Hospital. Then what's coming up uh, in uh, May? In May, uh, Dr. Frederick Siegel, who is our cardiologist here in Pahrump, very uh, well-known physician and very, very knowledgeable. He's going to be talking about heart health. So that will be a, um, a very good class. They'll all be good, but that one, particularly, you know, heart attack symptoms, heart disease, those sorts of things. Lots of very, very good information available. Some people don't even know that they're having a heart attack and men and women have different right. varying symptoms of heart attacks. Uh, women are more likely to have silent heart attacks, which means that they don't have any symptoms whatsoever or the symptoms are very mild. Um, some of the symptoms that are very subtle are things like chest pressure instead of chest pain. Maybe it doesn't ra radiate anywhere. Um, something like that, or a slight difference in heartbeat mm -hmm. sometimes can si signal that they're having a myocardial infarction, in which case you probably would, would not even see it or notice it. Dr. Siegel was the chief of staff there at Desert View Hospital? Yes, yes. Yeah. And yeah. he loves to teach. Yes. He yeah. loves <laughs> to teach. For more information, is there a number to call? Yep. 
They can call me. Uh, my direct line is 751-7120. The one coming up in April is at the Prompt Senior Center on April 12th. Of course, if you have any questions, you're urged to give Megan a phone call there at Desert View Hospital. This is Deanne O'Donnell for News 46. Bill Moeller brings you the latest business news in today's first business brief. This is the first business brief for Friday, March 22nd. I'm Bill Mahler. The House approved a temporary spending plan to fund the federal government until October. This bipartisan bill will be signed by the president. Meantime, $85 billion in federal cuts continue to take effect. A million federal employees still face furloughs. And the House approved Representative Paul Ryan's controversial budget. It has no chance of passing the Senate. Home sales hit a hot streak. Five million sold in February. That's the highest in more than three years, up 10 percent from last year. And home prices jumped more than 11 percent to more than $173,000. And Saturday, mail service not imperiled after all. The Senate approved a spending bill that included Saturday mail delivery. The bill goes on to the House now. The Postal Service, you know, loses about $25 million every day because we're all relying now on email and the Internet. That's your first business brief for a Friday. I'm Bill Mahler. Well, folks, keep it here because we're going to have your weather with Ian B. Clark right after these messages. Join us at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino with the number one gaming experience and entertainment. The Prompt Nugget has the number one dining experience at Stockman Steakhouse, Golden Harvest Cafe, and the Gold Miners Buffet. Come get your game on at the Prompt Nugget Hotel and Casino. News 46 weather is brought to you by Healthcare Partners Medical Group with five locations in Pahrump. Local doctors and professional staff providing total care from infancy to seniors. News 46 weather is also brought to you by your local dairy farmers. Dairy products are very important in maintaining a healthy body. For more information, you can visit their website at nevadadairycouncil.org. Welcome back. Pretty good weather today for Friday. Sunny skies, 74 there for your high, so not too warm. Winds is kind of windy today. Coming out of the northwest at 11, gusts at 23. Our pressure falling from 29.89, UV index at 7. Pretty low humidity there, 8%. Sunrise, 6.44 a.m. And the record high, pretty warm there, 91 degrees in 2004. Tonight, we're going to have clear skies, 42 for your low. Winds are going to calm down. Coming out of the north at 7, gusts at 13. 16% humidity doesn't rise very much there. Sunset 6.58 p.m. and the record low 28 degrees in 1948. So the first day of our weekend, Saturday, sunny skies, cooler 65 there for your high, low 41 and windier. Northeast at 13, gusts at 23. Humidity, it's going to stay pretty dry, 15%. Sunrise 6.43 a.m. and UV index at 7. Afterwards, looks like Sunday, we're going to pick up a little bit in temperature, going up to 70 degrees there, 45 for your low. And then Monday, it's going to stay around the same. And then next week, what we're going to see is a bit of change. It's going to warm up, going to that 70 degree range by around Tuesday. And our lows are going to be around the 50s. Inspiration Senior Living is celebrating its official grand opening with an open house event for the entire community. The Independent Living Assisted Living and Memory Care Community is holding their event this Saturday at 11.30 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. at their location, which is at 1554 Java Avenue off of Pahrump Valley Boulevard. For more information, call 751-2300. And that does it for this edition of News 46. I'm Glenn Evers. And I'm Monique Mitchell. And from all of us here at Channel 46, we wish you a great night, and we hope you'll join us tomorrow with Week in Review with Deanna O'Donnell and Jason Koblenz. Good night. Good night.